Hello everyone, I'm Link's Eyebrows, and welcome back to my pacifist run of Undertale. I have still not recovered emotionally from the last video. So... We're going to take a walk! Oh, is this music gonna play throughout the whole thing? Oh... Oh god, I'm still sniffling, I'm so sorry. Cause I know usually when you backtrack things um change. I'm just gonna go down the elevator. Cause this is just empty hallways. <laughs> oh the elevator's free. Where we fought Metaton. I wonder if monsters have anything to say now. Actually, hold on. No response. Their phone might be out of batteries. Oh. Well, I can't call anyone now. But. I'm wondering. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. Elevators in use. Um, are you guys on your way out? I guess I'll catch up with you later. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Good news! The elevator started working again, but now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. What can I do for you, little body? Talk. Freedom. So we're free, huh? Metaton told us as such. Then he told me, don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, my boss. I love that guy. And by that, I mean I hate him so much. Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if this is true. But I'll believe it anyway. So we're free now. Does that mean my double date was cancelled? I know, it wasn't really a date. Here's a trick, little buddy. Lie to yourself all the time, it makes you feel better. Future. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with the- if- with my- <laughs> qualifications. It won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But as they say, nowhere to go but up, literally in this case. Okay. Exit. Anytime, little buddy. I'm gonna put my glasses back on because it's starting to get hard to read. Through my tears! Ah, oh, jeez! I still can't believe I cried that much. Holy crap. I was literally my I was literally trying to cope with my crying through laughing through my sobs. Response. Oh, are, is no one home yet? It's locked from the inside. He's cleaning even faster. Holy crap. No response. No response. Alright. Trying to finish up work. Okay. Sorry, the result. The, the resort's shutting down, but I think you'll find it's still a great place to pass through. Blub blub! Now we can live life without reservations! Oh, he's gone. So, for leaving, will my job. Uh. Man, I. Uh, ugh, and I just got a raise. Well, I guess every apple has its core, huh? <laughs> the surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to make. Uh, to go two feet without running into a puzzle. Sorry, my headphone was starting to hurt my ear, so I'm putting it off to the side. It's got- oh, he's still over here. Oh, we're all free? Oh! I guess I can stop licking the spikus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll just keep doing it. No, excuse me. I, why am I so gassy? I've been gassy for the past like, three or four episodes. So I'm TV show for Dream of Okay. I 
I wonder where he went, though. Well, Alpha did say that uh, she returned the um, amalgamates to their families, so I'm guessing that was like either his daughter or his wife. Let's see, Brady and Kathy. Kathy. I almost said Kathy. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Freedom. So, we're like totally free now, huh? Yeah, like totally free. Like cool. Yeah, like cool. Like millennia of being in prison uh, finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. Oh, oops. Really? Uh, well, when we said um, we're hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just like joking. You know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like practically our catchphrase. <laughs> really? I thought our catchphrase was Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no, we've like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? Hmm, now that we're gonna be free. <laughs> well, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy! Me? Yeah, I love cats. Me? Yeah, I love cats. Okay. They're like, so tasty and so cute. Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway. When was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat, uh, white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy? Yeah? Braddy? I think that was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. That is true. Well, at least Pomeranians anyway. Okay. Yes, I will see you later. I'm so excited to sell ice cream on the surface. If all the humans are like you, I think it'll be a modest success. Huntine told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Notice you, re Notice you received a text from Toriel, Dear Frisk. Sans and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, did you know that smi what a smiley is? Please look at this. Oh, are those our horns? <laughs> now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL, that stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in next room you'll receive another? Oh. I wonder if... I keep text if I keep texting her in every room, maybe. Oh, oops, that's not what I want. Exit. I don't want to miss anything because this might be my last video for now, for of this pacifist run through. How are you? Have you been uh, wandering? Oh, you've been wandering around for some time now. Hope you are not getting into trouble. Only kidding. LOL. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. Is it the same one here? Oh, okay, she's not sending more messages. Same message, excuse me. I did not mean to write sincerely, I'm- Oh, she misspelled it. It was difficult to use this thing with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to translate- t transcribe for me. Sans will be typing from now on. Hey Frisk, it's Toriel. I just baked <laughs> I just baked a million pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. <laughs> what? Sans though! No. I did not say any of that. <laughs> oh, I can't go down there. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. What do you have to say? What, you want a rematch? No. Greetings, this is Sans. 
I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being slandered. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. I guess... Yeah. It's the only way to go. Everywhere else is just mazes and trying to get through the place, so this is just... It's like a message. This is Sans. Frisk. Did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is very good at- and- <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Relationship goals, to be honest. Entitled cat video. Inside, she uh, meticulously describes a video she saw of a small white animal. There is no link or attachment to watch with. Forward, send this to someone you care about, or a skeleton will rattle its bones at you. Yeah, I wonder if any dialogues change in Temi Village. We're gonna take the long way. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Dear Frisk, thought you might enjoy this. It's ASCII art of a snail. Send me a message. Dear Frisk, Undyne and Papyrus want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. I'm excited. Maybe if you're lucky, we can have- uh, you can have some. Toriel sent, sent you a message. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur. LOL. P.S. That is only a joke. I do not prefer uh, to be- I do not refer to me as Dreamer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Toriel sent you a message. Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone here up. She could. <laughs> the only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. Whoops! Oh, I, didn't, I didn't encounter this guy this time. Yeah, who are you? Freedom? What? Bah. I'm just pulling my leg. Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? Maybe? Dear Frisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice! Um, I've been sitting in front of a computer for the last two hours doing nothing but talking to you guys. Dear Frisk, I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend time getting to know them better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Toria. Aww. But I like texting her! Oh wait. Your present conversation. Of course, I won't laugh. Oh, okay. I thought I was wondering if the um, Echo Flowers changed dialogue or anything. Oh, that's a dead end. Look out. Okay. Just not send you more messages. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. I wanted to talk to her some more. All right. Let's go to Temi Village and see if there's anything new there. So peaceful, and it's like we've come so far. We've come so far, we've come, we've gone through this twice, but this is so much more meaningful. I cried like a baby, I sobbed, and had to read the rest of the dialogue through my tears. Hi, Temmies. Whoa! Tem here news! Very goods! Whoops. Whoa! Tem her nudes, very goods! Yeah, yeah! Time's gonna go free! A pleasing development, no? Whoa! If Thames can go on surface, can see lots of cute humans! Everyone's go free, but Tem! Tem not leave! Tem watch Egg! Egg will be happy family! Oh 
Dreams! Okay. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me that they are willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at the dance? It feels a little rude. Oh. She's waiting for someone to let her out. Oh no! <laughs> so she's stuck there. Oi, welcome to the Tem Shop! Talk. Say hello. Oi! I'm Temmy! Tim armor is so good! Any battle become an easy victories! But mm, Tim think if you use armors, battles wouldn't be challenged anymore. But Tim have solution! Tim will offer a scholarships! If you lose a lot of battles, Tim will lower the price! So if you get the, uh, too tough battle and feel frustrated, can buy Tem Ardor at last resort. As, re as last resort. But Tem Armor so good, promise to- oh, okay. Yeah, Temmy agree with the- oops. Talk. Okay, so she doesn't say anything about the- okay. I don't know. Moving on! I feel like all these last few episodes are going to be super long because one of them went about 30 minutes, which I might try and see if I can cut down. Well, you, you, you'll you know if I already have or not. You'll know if I've succeeded in that or not by the time this airs. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the last one was like 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes long, I think, in the final recording. This one's already running on 18 minutes. Wahaha, well, ha, I knew you could do it. Okay, okay, I remember this clearly now. It was the monthly address that- uh, I- It was a monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving uh, her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. The audience burst into laughter. Laughter. Realizing that she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest of this is history. Aw, that's so cute. He's such a big dork. Is Asgore a goat? A goat. Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower pattern Moo Moo. Uh, folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right, Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call him boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the sole power of the parents uh, flows to the child, causing the ch child to grow uh, as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, uh, so he's been stuck at the same age, and probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child was a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore is your father, you'll definitely outlive. Uh, he'll definitely outlive you. Oh, so monsters. Don't age unless they have a child? And since Asriel died, they all stayed the same age. Well, I mean, the uh, Toriel and uh, Asgore did. How does that work? I don't know. Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course, Toriel was queen, and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left, since everyone knows she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy teensy bit uh, relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick, thank god those days are over. I can relate. I'm sorry, but I just really do not like seeing PDA when, like, I'm out to the mall, I don't like seeing couples, like, pretty much sucking face and being all cute and gross together. Just, 
you keep it to yourself. Like, even, even rarely I would do that shit in public or want to be doing that in public. I always feel really uncomfortable when, like, if it's anything more than just a little kiss in public, I'm just like, uh, people are watching, please don't. I'm dying. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days, and Gerson the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though most of the time the folks got attacked, uh, the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. They'd just be the mailman or something like that. I could just imagine tiny little Undyne tackling the mailman. <laughs> Anywho, I appreciated it. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, Napsteblook's not coming around. I wonder if the snail's having anything to say. Using its money, the snail bought a hat. The housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. Snail, snail, you reached the end of your ex extensive journey. Snail, snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. I do need to stretch my leg muscles soon. <laughs> it's a snail. You wonder if Toriel has seen it. Metaton! There you are, Frisk Darling. Face your eyes, Dr. Alpha says, completed my wonderful new body. Oh, and did you hear? The barrier is open. I, uh, ah, I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming trope. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And Bl Naps to Blue here will be my sec my sound mixer. The three of us perform together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? Aww. You came back. Oh, Metaton, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. I'll never forget you uh, that you cheered me on when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but... What's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flashlight... Uh, the flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk? Okay, I won't forget it. Can I go inside? No? I can't go in- oh. I can go in here. Oh, I can- okay, yeah. Okay. Sounds like only Fire lives here now. Okay. So you helped us get all free. Helped us all- yeah, whatever. Or free us all? I don't know. I guess I really acted that like a dummy to you. Well, you kind of are a dummy right now, so... We can go see the real stars now. But I still don't know what those are. <gasps> the mouse! Oh, there was one mouse- Oh, I didn't backtrack to see it! Oh well. Squeak. It seems like a mouse is- uh, has freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. Oh, we got the cheese! Uh, I'm gonna backtrack. Oh wait, no, I can't because okay, yeah, I have to. I have to take him. Hop on, and here we go. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the three gold. Okay. The 
Sorry if I'm not saying anything. I'm just really, en like, thoroughly enjoying my time going back. Just... It's just... I, I can't even think of anything to say right now. No, that's a bad thing. All it gives my life validation is explaining that like a flower. <laughs> no one can know. Never no, just a flower. Echo flower, okay. So he doesn't have anything to say about it. I thought he might have new dialogue. Oh! The ice stopped. Okay, I just- I'm just thoroughly enjoying my time going back like this. It's, it's really nice and... It's just... I have thoroughly enjoyed this game. I really have. Somebody taught me how to get to Sans' room, but I goofed it up because I was supposed to do something specific um, at, at the judgment. Wait, is there different? Why is there no music here? Okay. But yeah, it's, it's been a long run. It's been a good run. an amorphous shambling fam family member is great. They're always moving so I can see them 100% of the time. All of our parents have been combined into a- THEIR PARENTS?! That's okay though. It's really brought our families together. I mean, now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait. We're dogs. That stuff's normal. Oh my gosh! That's... Oh. Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. Oh my, there's... So much news to report, I don't know where to begin. How about this headline, Monsters Go Free from the Underground? Nah, that doesn't have it. enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? Okay. This will be the last issue. Oh, why don't we just put it a big, uh, the end on the front and call it a day. Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds like what I would do. The greatest struggle of my life is over. I've just solved today's junior jumble. Oh. Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Hmm. When humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? It seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Waha! This adventurous spirit. I'm like a kid again. And my children are like double children. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my face just rewards me. Ah, okay. There he is! Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break and buy some pants now. Oh, we're free! Finally! We'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Aw. I heard Dr. Alphys told the uh, king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that she he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Well... Yo, what's up? Been kinda doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But yo! I found out some someone way cooler her. Yeah! 
Oh my god! They've been hanging around Papyrus! I wonder if the overworld is, is hot, guys. And neat, neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready! Man, this place feels empty with all the dogs there. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. It seems like we won't ha have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here. Uh, well... I guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. Good job. Aww. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grilby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what, I, what he was saying. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So kid, take it from me. Don't try and catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a whinny of dismay. What? It finally won a game of poker against itself. I wonder how it even lost. It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. I don't know. I don't know. What What do you think of this? I don't know. I'm pretty weirded out by this gigantic tree full of tinsel and decorations with the present underneath. Hold on, my microphone. Uh, is anyone else weird about- okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I didn't- fuck, I didn't get to read it! I'll have to go back and read it later. But I think it said the amalgamates it was talking about. Mom says we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. Right, hold on, my legs are hurting! Hello, sorry, no time for a nap. The snow is shutting down, so uh, we can all go to the surface. Excuse me. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of light. Then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard it was all because a human came through here. A human. I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them here as welcome. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They were opened up from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Well, I suppose I'll move to my store, uh, to the overworld. I haven't planned much he uh, more than that, I'm afraid. This is where Papyrus tried to set his death trap upon me. I'm almost- oh! Hi! Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people. Someone has to, right? Must be bigger on the inside. Yeah, no kidding. Everyone's leaving, huh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. Can I go that for this way or no? Uh, I, I kind of want to see if I can go the other way. No, I just realized. Flowey's mouth looked like that thing. And that sort of the, um, uh, the determination extractor or whatever it was. Is that a duck? Oh, that was cute. We're all free? Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't. Does it? My God, I still can't believe all those... Oh, 
Oh! I guess we all have to go to the surface. There are woods here. Uh, there are woods there we can live in, right? Definitely, yeah. I'm actually surprised there's woods down here. Is there anyone over here? Oh, look, another. Hi, after all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please? No. <laughs> oh. It's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. It seems like something tried to eat it and just gave up. Oh. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. Is it still... Seeing as the spaghetti is still here, is, uh, I hereby donate it to the public. It's like a playground for their mouth. Yeah! Papyrus. Oh yeah. I forgot that's the crossword. Snow decahedron. What's over here? Oh! Another snow drake. I'm worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers, like 20 teen. <laughs> All right. I'm almost there. Oh, the snowman. Ah, I can feel that piece of me is... Uh, piece of me has been well taken care of. Huh? The barrier's opened up. Hmm. Then if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece uh, of me to the surface? I'd really appreciate it. Aww. Oh! Doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Oh my gosh. Snowy. Oh. I might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool, because, uh, or made of ice and stuff. What? That's a joke. Laugh at it. Oh. So it was his wife and uh, Snowdrake's mom. Oh. Fishing rod fixed to the ground. Reel it in. Yes. All this touches the note. Never mind, guys. Shaped lamp. Oh, I'm almost, to, I'm almost to the ruins, and they open up too, so I can go back inside and see what's up. <sighs> I'm really enjoying myself with this. Oh, look, it's open! Oh, it's been too long. I wonder if any dialogue here has changed. I don't know. It's still just used Frisk. I slurred that a lot. It feels strange to lie in bed. It feels entirely too small for you now. Most of the pie is gone. There are dog prints in it. <laughs> Toria, you're gonna burn your house down. Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Did I ever 
whenever every time this old tree grows any leaves, they just fall right off. There's a frogget over here I want to talk to. Ribbit, ribbit. It seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should uh, finally go outside to the rest of the underground. Huh? The barrier is open. Oh, it's open too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? Ribbit, ribbit. Yellow names are nice for a while. Next time we should try uh, relaxing the shade of green. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? No? Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press X and skip over my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? I wanted to see if you did anything if you pressed X a million times. I have not found the fourth frog in this room. I don't even know if there is. Looks like cheese is a nibble taken out of it. The exit's open? Guess it better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push pumpkin? Okay, I can't push him. Oh, we're so close! There's the candy I knocked over! Look at what you've done! <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscious person. Uh, I forgot, I didn't get to read that correctly. Uh, whether it was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. What's going to be waiting for us at the end? I gotta say, this game's... Um... Like... The amount of time... Okay, so why did, why did she make me hold our hand to do this when the spikes don't hurt me. Anyway, um, playing this game has been a really wonderful experience to, like, I haven't had such an emotional time playing a game in a really long time. I can't even remember the last one that actually brought me to tears like this one did, but it's also just, I am so attached to this game now. I, it's not often that I get into something and jump right into the fandom. Like, Steven Universe is probably the last thing that I've actually done that with. And I'm just like, and even then, like, I didn't even really create that much fan art for it or anything. But with this, I really want to draw more fan art for it. I want to do more involving with it, and I want to play this game more and more. I want to keep- I want to keep playing it! I want to keep replaying! It's just that great of a game, and I'm s It's actually inspired me to work on my own ideas, too. Like, with my own characters, my own creatures, and all this other junk. It's a really inspiring game, and I can honestly say I am very glad to have played it. Asriel, what are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. What? Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. No, come with me. Asriel, come here. Why are you still here? Are you just trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question, Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbet, Ebbet are said to disappear. Frisk. 
Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? What was- uh, was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you, well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I've been wondering the answer like that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I know why Cheeks climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Cheeks hated humanity. Why did- uh, why they did, they never really talked about. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Cheeks. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices. I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Cheeks wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe if I was kind of- so maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you, Frisk. When Cheeks and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk, this whole time I've blamed myself for, the, for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world, kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage a uh, war against all humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices in your hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but there's- that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go to your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you want to see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this, someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk? Be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as, as it is here. But there are a lot of flowies out there. <laughs> Amen to that. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can survi uh, survive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Oh, he won't talk to me anymore! No, come back with me! Alright, I guess we're making our journey all the way back to get the ending. So, I will be right back. Well, oh, there she is! I can't- can I talk to her? Sorry, I burped again. Oh jeez, I'm so gassy! Oh my gosh. It's gonna be my sister again. Oh my gosh, that was... okay. Oh. Me and Sin popped out of nowhere. Since if we did, how would I ever know? Well, I'll keep my tentacles out for you, you hear? As soon as I know, I'll be the first to tell you. Oh my gosh, the fucking face though. I guess, I guess that's it for this area. I still have to go see Muppet and see how she's doing. I'm pretty sure she's gonna say something about um, starting up her bake sale in the surface or something like that. Oh, the duck! Yes, get a ride from the duck. I'm probably so heavy for it. Oh, I 
gosh, oh, this music is about ready to put me to sleep. It's so relaxing. You know, I wonder if Toriel left me any messages. No. Mm. I guess we'll just go straight to Hall. Oh. I was about to say, I guess we'll just go straight to Hotland, but at the same time, just taking this route will take me there. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I don't want to go through all that again. There are other monsters around here too that I didn't get to see. I just kind of skipped right past them. Oh, I can't go this way. I wanted another hot dog, but the hot dog guy never came back. Besides that, today's fine. Count, count your blessings even if you don't have a second hot dog. <laughs> Toasty bun, okay. So you just say the same thing. Cinder plane! Ah, human, you're leaving? I have something to say to you. Admittedly, I have had uh, limerent feelings for you before. However, upon examining my own actions, I now realize I did not love you. I was merely infatuated with the concept of love. The idea of romance. Uh, the concept of sharing affection with another. Through those desires, I built a, a false concept of you in my head. Such a relationship would have not ended well. Would not have ended well. In closing, I believe it is better that I choose to say nothing. You idiot. <laughs> oh, okay, there's nothing there. I just want to see Muffet. Oh, there's the mouse. Seems like the mouse hacked the safe and took the cheese out. Aww. The mouse did it. I'm so proud. Hey! Ha 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 ha! Wonder if any humans would want to be my friend. Psych! That never happened. Pretty sure I'm getting close to Muppet now. Or not? I don't know. This is where the bomb was. Yeah, that's where the bomb was. You have to go this way? Yeah, this way. God, this is gonna be a hour long finale episode. <laughs> go. Here's where we meet Muppet. On the surface, I won't buy any donuts from spiders. That's my resolution. I'm sure I missed a couple guys, but whatever. Oh, she's gonna be here. She's gonna be here. It's not sticky anymore. Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all my all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. And we'll allo, I think it's supposed to be also, be able to afford four pairs of stylish heels for every spider. Aww. Who are you? Metaton, he recognized my voice from uh, when I called in, and he he gave me this dress. So I'm so ha ha ha. Aw, that's so sweet. Oh, we're 
back. Here we go. Oh, our journey's almost over. We've come so far. And then we went all the way back and then came all the way over here. Asriel, though, I don't want to leave him behind! All the way up. Oh, I gotta take this elevator. I forgot. There's multiple elevators, because this place is super long. not saved once this entire time. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're all saving here. Oh, the birds chirping. There they all are! I guess we'll move forward then. Or should I... Does it have any... I just realize... Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Oh, well, actually, the cup I had is now cold, so you shouldn't have it, but I am so happy you said yes. As soon as I can, I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. So I'm gonna post it online! <laughs> hey Alphys, Alphys! Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. Yay! It seems like you really watched our quest- uh, your quest first. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's a, that's true. Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working! I know. And it's taking all my concentration. Oh my gosh. Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? Aw. Alright, well I guess it's time to move forward then. So let's see. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Don't leave? I'm ready. 